pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I call the regular city council meeting to order for July 19, 2022. We'll start with a roll call. Big job? Yes. Diamond? Here. Wick? Yes. Sturgeon? Yes. Friends? Here. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. First thing on the agenda is two hearings. So first is the Lamar's Alley Improvements Project. At the July 5th, 2022 meeting, council set this date and time to hear public comments on plans, specifications, form of contract, and estimate of the cost of the 2022 Lamar's Alley Improvements Project. The project will remove and replace the alley south of Plymouth Street, Pizza Ranch to Lamar's Dialysis and the alleys north of Plymouth Street, Browns Theater to Century 21 on the west side of Central Avenue. The anticipated schedule is as follows. July 19, public hearing. August 15, 2022, bids due at 10 a.m. August 16, 2022, award. June 30, 2023, completion. I would like to open the hearing and ask for any written or oral objections or comments to the project. Anyone here to you have comments on the alley improvement project? Seeing none, I will uh, close the time for comments and uh, turn to the council. Who is the engineer on this? Uh, back engineer. Is that you guys? That's yeah. me. Okay. Can we put in here somewhere, I'm 100% for this project, but can we put in here somewhere because of these, the, uh, your schedule, award and completion, that they may not start one or either of those alleys unless they absolutely can guarantee they will finish it in the same season? Correct. We yep. don't, we don't, I don't want one torn up in December, January, and February. Yep. Correct, and that is in the bidding documents. That is there. That will be in our project manual. As okay, as long as it's in there, that, uh, because, yeah. Yep, certainly understand and share your concern there. And then, um, are there any um, issues with getting concrete for these? Not that I'm aware of, or that we've been having projects letting throughout the summer. Um, I have not been aware of any issues. Can you tell me roughly your, your larger yard projects that you're, I mean, are you dealing with 80s? or 200 yard or 800 yard projects? So our projects will let in square yards. Um, so okay. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the theory. I don't know, I'm just like art kind of tree, you know. Right, yep. so we've done, we've done large agricultural, or uh, excuse me, architectural parking lots um, in the 6,000 square yards okay. range. Okay. Things like that. So and you're not hearing of shortages? I have not heard All of right, thank you, sir, appreciate that. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Motion to adopt resolution 2225 uh, on plan specifications, form of contract, estimate of cost, a 2022 out Lamar's Alley Improvement Project. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call. Wick? Yes. Sturgeon? Yes. Friends? Yes. Goodchild? Yes. Got yes. It. Motion carried. Do I have to close that hearing? Yeah, already did. Already did. Already. <laughs> <coughs> first, first thing to go. All right. Uh, you know, you're right. <laughs> Next uh, hearing is for a 12th Street Southwest uh, P -P PCC overlay project. So at the July 5th, 2022 meeting, the council set this date and time and to hear public comments on plans, specifications, form of contract, and estimate of the cost of the 2022 12th Street Southwest PCC overlay project. The project extends from Central Avenue to 6th Avenue Southwest. The anticipated schedule is as follows. July 19, 2022, public hearing. October 18, 2022, bid letting for the Iowa DOT. 
November 1, 2022 Council Award, June 1, 2023 Start, July 31, 2023 Completion. Attached is an I Iowa DOT federal aid agreement for the project that also needs to be approved. I hereby open the hearing and ask for any written or oral objections or comments to the project. Anybody here for the 12th Street Southwest <coughs> PCC overlay project? Seeing nobody rush to the microphone, I'll close the hearing and turn to the council. Um, on this, I see we're accommodating. Is this you, Pat? Yep. yep. Um, is this a complete removal or is this a grind down and overlay? This is uh, very similar to what we've done. It does say overlay. I apologize. Yeah. What's going on right now is on Central Avenue. So the existing streets, uh, Concrete Street with an asphalt overlay, we'll be doing, coming in and doing some milling uh, to, to minor reprofile and uh, shape the grade, prepare for the paving portion of it, and that'll be a four inch PCC overlay. So we're doing on Central right now. Are the um, inlets or the the uh, storm sewers, how are they in this stretch? Um, there's most, there's a good share of them that have been replaced. I think there's a couple of them we'll need to, to look at prior to, um, to that project coming in. I see we're working with the school. Pretty yes, much. That was the, that's the, the emphasis for the June 1 start date, so it's after school is out. Sure. Thank you, sir. Did we decide are the uh, mailboxes the expense of the owners in that right away? Jason? Yeah, there will be. Okay. I mean, there's only one that's a big concern, but right. I guess the question would be along those lines is that the city's responsibility to get in touch with those people now, or is the project manager going to do that at a time? I mean, I don't want well, to I've already sent to the people the day of the project. I've already sent out a letter to all those property owners okay. informing them of the project and the issues with irrigation, mailboxes. They'll have to, that's a rural route, um, so they'll have to arrange to get their mail picked up at the post office. And I haven't heard from anybody. That was, shoot, three weeks ago, a month ago. Those are sent out. I've only heard from one property owner. So there's still some issues that Pat, and Pat has brought up as, as far as um, there's a few properties along that route that um, have some semblance of an old driveway that appears to not be used or needed anymore. So there's a question that we'll, we'll deal with that either before or during construction and whether or not they'll even go back. Currently, they're included in the project. You know, if 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 uh, um, it determines that they're not needed, it's just a matter of not putting them in the curb. In. So. That that's one area I was going to ask about. Um, <clears throat> one of the property owners on 12th and Central is a relative of mine, and has volunteered. She has the angle driveway on D4, that last map page. It looks like it's coming out and probably going back in. They have two driveways, they do kind of a circle, and they said you're welcome to fill in the rest if you want, but uh, they want to make sure that they still keep that driveway. So. No. Nothing, everything will be put back unless uh, the property owner says they don't want it. Okay. So they it's the same with they individual decide. sidewalks that go to the curb. Um, a lot of those aren't used anymore because you can't park on 12th Street. <coughs> I mean, the sprinkler systems are not really the city's responsibility. I, I didn't think no. they were. Okay. That's why those letters go off large to give yeah. you fair warning. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and the other thing, uh, the second motion there is that federal aid agreement. Um, that's just required by DOT. Um, doesn't really commit us to anything until we actually award it. I mean, because your option when we get bids in is to reject them all. If for some reason they come in way too high or you decide not to do the project. But. Motion to adopt resolution 2226 on plan specification in the form of contract estimate costs 
for the 2022 12th Street Southwest PCC overlay project. Second. A motion and a second. Roll call. Donovan? Yes. Wick? Yes. Sturgeon? Yes. Friends? Yes. Good job? Yes. Motion to adopt resolution 2227. Approving a federal aid agreement for surface transport block grant project 2022 12th Street Southwest PCC overlay project. Second. I have a motion and a second. Roll call. Where? Yes. Sturgeon? Yes. Diamond? Yes. Friends? Yes. Good child? Yes. <laughs> motion carried. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Uh, Pat, do you need anything else from me? They go in today, right? Right. Okay. Is there anything else? I'll just visit with you a little bit this afternoon before I send it All right. Okay. <coughs> okay. Opening up to general discussion. Any citizens here to uh, <coughs> discuss general stuff? <laughs> go ahead and step to the mic, sir, and introduce yourself and where you live. Mike Riley, Ridgewood Drive. I don't know if it's well camper. I can't get to my house with my camper because of the overhanging trees. The last time I tried, I damaged a roof vent. I broke a TV cable. I cracked a uh, skylight and the branch dug a hole through the roof of the roof. Oh, well. I'd like the city to come out and trim that tree up. I understand you guys got letters out telling people to trim them up, but I think the city could probably hasten the situation a little bit. Because as it stands now, I can't get the camper to the front of the house to load it or unload it or anything else. That's my beef. Sure. Well, we'll take that in consideration and visit with our code enforcement officer and uh, what was the address again it's Ridgewood Ridgewood Drive where is Ridgewood Drive it's so funny. it's lost on the east side of town you come okay. down <laughs> <laughs> street uh, west of Jerry Road and so on. okay all right all right we have any issues getting fire equipment down that street we have about 50 streets that would need to be addressed. And there's been about 50 letters that have gone out to property owners to trim them up. Okay. The thing is, the one thing that you, you need to understand it is the, the property owner's cost and responsibility. And if you start doing one street, then I want them to come and do my street too. <laughs> I understand that. that. That's where the problem is. I understand okay. That. Okay. When it snows, you clear the street. If a vehicle can't get to his house, you make it open so we can get there. Mm -hmm. If there's something blocking the street, I think the city needs to open it up. I don't care if you charge this guy that owns the tree. Okay, you see? Absolutely. I think there might be remedies that we can look into. How often, how long after you send these letters out is action taken before the tree is trimmed? Is there a time on it, Jason? On, on the There's panel? nothing specified. It would depend on what Greg puts in the letter. I okay, don't know. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. I mean, it could go on forever. It's a legitimate <laughs> concern, that's for sure. Um, in, emer in emergency cases, we can go in and do it tomorrow. If we needed to. But. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. <laughs> Any other general discussion? Okay, thumbs up award. Mike Dallin. I'll give a thumbs up to our fire and rescue folks for their uh, prompt and thorough response to uh, the houses that were uh, damaged and burned. And boy, they were there like that. Which yeah. is very great. Thumbs up. I'll second that. All right, Clark. Um, yeah, I want to give a thumbs up. I, I agree with you, Mike. I really do. We had quite the event, and it seemed as though there was on my street alone, which is a mile away, 
multiple of us neighbors were outside going, what the heck was that? Mm -hmm. So it was felt all over town. Um, I want to give a thumbs up to Kevin and his department for the obvious training they put into just things that can go wrong, things that can happen in the calm, what seems to be calm, um, response, responsible responses to serious situations. So I called Kevin and told him to just give his guys a thumbs up to um, good training and good discipline. So, yeah, absolutely. So, Thank you, Mark. Yeah. I concur with both of those sentiments. I, I talked to Chief Shipper today and told him my sentiments about how things are handled. Great job there. And Chief Vandebeck, I haven't had a chance to speak with, but uh, from the outside looking in, it was handled perfectly. Uh, but, you know, not being any, <laughs> any having any training in there, but uh, um, sad ordeal. Uh, but uh, handled the best possible way. So, get her on all of that. Absolutely. Same. Okay. Moving on to consent items. All items listed under consent will be enacted by one motion. We've got a, an approval of the July 5th, 2022 regular meeting minutes. A list of bills for period ending 7-15-2022, a monthly financial statement for June 2022, and a renewal of the liquor license for Jim's Burgers. I don't need to pull any, but I just want you to know that I did read it. I was at the last meeting, but it was omitted. The That's the one I was going to comment on. I was going to make sure we had done the minutes to show that uh, Steve was at it. We'll, we'll add, yeah. It shows you second. I didn't think you contributed very much, so that's why I don't take you on. <laughs> I had your back on that. <laughs> I do read them. <laughs> Make a motion to approve consent items one through four. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Action items, we're on to vacant building ordinance. So, at the July 5th, 2022 meeting, the council approved the first reading of ordinance number 972 to add chapter 161, vacant building permit to the Lamar's Code of Ordinances. The ordinance would apply to only to properties within the national and state recognized Lamar's downtown historic district, attached as a map of the area. As is the case with many historic downtowns, Buildings are multi-storied and construct, constructed from property line to property line. This ordinance would give some assurance to property owners that a vacant building meets minimum standards and is not a potential or immediate safety risk. <coughs> the first motion is the only one that you would need to do today. The rest are up to you guys. You don't even need to do the second reading today, I guess, if you don't want to. Right? <laughs> just, just so the new councilman understands, you, you can waive a third reading, but it takes a super majority vote. Uh, for this council, it would take a four fifths vote to waive the third reading. Anybody here to comment on the vacant building ordinance? I've heard nothing in the last two weeks. So. Motion to approve the second reading of ordinance number 972 to add chapter 161 vacant building permit to the Lamar's Code of Ordinances. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call. Good child? Yes. Wick? Yes. Friends? Yes. Sturgeon? Yes. Donman? Yes. Motion carried. Any more discussion on waiving or continuing with the third reading? Doesn't matter either. This way. is the this is retroactive to July fifth, so you know, it's kind of it's been a hot topic. I agree, Jason, I haven't had any more comments. Um, I, I I probably have had one, but um, 
I'd like to see us have our, th our second reading. Third reading. Third, third reading, excuse me. Yes. I'd like to see that. So. Okay. That's just my simple opinion. Any further discussion? All right, we'll move on. The Majestic View Edition, final plat and rezoning. On July 5th, the Planning and Zoning Commission approved the final plat and proposed zoning of Majestic View Edition. The final plat consists of one buildable lot of 5.583 acres and outlot one, which will be a future city right of way. A copy of the final plat is attached. The lot is at the west end of 22nd Street Southeast that was constructed as part of the Dogwood 3rd edition. No extension of city infrastructure is required. The Planning and Zoning Commission also recommends the addition be zoned from R rule to R1 residential. The administration recommends the approval of the final plat as well as the setting date, the date for public hearing to rezone. We do have a representative here from the Dogwood edition. I can just check and see if there's any questions on it and everything. It's uh, one lot, um, you know, for uh, building purposes. And the outlot is the actual streets that are going to line up. It continues 22nd west all the way to the property line and hooks up with First Avenue um, southeast. southeast going south. All lined up with surveyors and everything like that. So that way, if uh, once we decide to develop them streets, it's just one quick you know, transfer of out lot one. So we didn't call it any streets or anything like that. Just, just we don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> There's uh, no covenants on this uh, lot. It's just under uh, all city ordinances and all the utilities are to it. Um, so it's just waiting for approval. So. <laughs> so any questions? This is just one lot. One lot. What's that? No, I, I, this is a question. Just one lot. Just one lot. Just, 